Good day and salutations, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Together We Roll. Yeah. You're not going to do that every time you open up, right? What? Why not? Hasn't he always? Yeah. No, no actually, no. I've had. Come on. Uh, it's always been an awkward. Hi! Oh, I'm on the internet! Kind of. <laughs> or, you know, Hello Fuck Tarts? I think that was how you started the first and second season? On the second season, yeah. <laughs> the one that never aired. Because I used. Uh, oh, the God. Yeah, because. <laughs> because I used unlicensed music. My old music. Oh. I love that music. I want Skyrim, I want Witcher music, and stuff like that. They, not sponsored. They make the best fantasy music, anyway. Not sponsored. No, we're not sponsored. I just. No, it's not about sponsorship. It's about licensing. Yeah. Which, by the way, all the music we do is licensed fully by multiple sources, including... Um, uh, uh, science, no, science Creep is the one with you know the explosions yep. and the Wilhelm screams. Explosions? <laughs> explosions? That's not a question. Uh, but that's that's the sound effects mostly. Um, and then we have our, our library of music from other sources as Which well. Is... So, and I and, and how do we know this works? Because... About every third or second uh, episode that I upload, I get to do the whole copyright copyright claim okay. verification stuff because they uh, they of course are protecting those artists out there and uh, uh, and and so the cool part is they're real cool about and easy about me uh, uh, clearing it but yeah they they certainly go hey, hey, is that licensed oh, yes it is probably, you should, you, so. honestly you can make one on the street deck and just press a button and they'll take care of it for you <laughs> you know I could program that. Yeah, you probably, probably yeah, can, actually. Yeah, you can. That's, that's the best up part. You can. These things are awesome. Yeah. Anyway, uh, enough about us just talking about tech and nerding about... Nerding and out. And nerding well, out. We're going everywhere. Anyway, we... Really, you don't, have an, you don't have an alert button for that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Start the timer. Thank you. Thanks for reminding me. I'm I've right. already started the timer, okay. so I got it. So, but uh, I need to give a quick shout-out to Corinne Mill. She is doing awesome work. Uh, she has made every single piece of art piece that she has, uh, well, as you can see, that are next to David, Nathan, Brian, and Tanya. Uh, just has something from last time. Ah, uh, there is. Wait, there is? Yes. Uh, oh, you didn't see my text that I shared? She started, I see a lot of text. She's, she started the color art, and uh, so, yes, there is color. If you pull uh, that up, started. you're going to think that's something different, Nathan. Oh. It's, uh, a, it's a fog machine. Yeah. 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 Um, we, we can do it later. But in any case, yeah, the, the color art is in process. We know it um, seems like it's taking a while. Uh, it's because we're spoon feeding you. Uh, but no, oh my gosh, uh, flesh tones and everything. They're only seeing this it's pretty cool. Teams. They're only seeing this stuff like weeks at a time. Yeah. So, so uh, we're all as impatient as you to get it. But like I say, a good cake has to be has to be cooked to the right level. You know what? Who I'm says the that? Is ready? <laughs> no. Keep kidding, Keep the souffle is ready when the souffle is ready. Thank you. <laughs> that one's better. You know, a watched pot is right twice a day. <laughs> what? So thanks for the art. Can we get, like? Let's continue. Well, let's let's get to the introduction. I hope you enjoy it. Um, we're gonna be uh, updated shortly. Maybe. <laughs> And we're back! 
back, yes. Yeah, and, and we're really back because apparently I have to do something in post now. Yeah, you, you pressed the wrong button. Yeah. You know what? When you actually stop recording instead of actually changing the video, that's not good. So Why let's be clear. Kind of David was bragging about how everything flowed together so <laughs> nicely so over the last two sessions have to do and didn't have to anything do anything up. and did not realize he was jinxing the shit uh, <laughs> out of everything. No, Houston, we've You're had our problem, I think, for this trip. I would and hope so. And now you've said that. <laughs> so, Knock on wood. Great. Shall we get started? <laughs> if we can... A little bit of re- uh, uh, reconstruction, a recap of this reconstruction of the madness known as the Silver Menagerie. You guys went on uh, went on a little bit of adventure to find a hidden city known as the Heart Curve, the hidden world. It was a big keep walking. <laughs> that was adorable. Uh, <laughs> the hidden war of uh, a uh, forged city, more forged forged city. Of Hard Kern. You found it after crashing the ship, after being brought down, going through a mammoth storm, and fighting the dragon, yada yada yada. Old news. Oh, and there was a rock too. The bird, the rock. And dragon. You met the Council of the Tempered Thought. They, after a small uh, interaction with the city populace, having to shoot out and being arrested, and finding out that you have a pocket generator, nuclear generator, with one of you known as the Ark of Cogs, they properly uh, asked some needed questions on this legitimate threat to the city. Now there's a talk of war, talk of uh, 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 betrayal, and also additional uh, other, you know, things that are just as fun. With four out of the th- uh, four out of the seven saying that we'll accept that you can stay in the city. And they also asked if you would like a job to activate this Ark of Cogs that you brought into the city. And you accepted after some generous rewards that you would get. And chosen out. You promptly entered the Ark of Cogs, finding a whole new world of clockwork steampunk madness. <laughs> Bullshit, <laughs> no brain monsters. <laughs> Nicholas is having a bad time. <laughs> When a psychodot goes into the uh, uh, mentally dead society. Anyway. Is that what idiocracy is about? What? A psychonaut going into a mentally dead society? No, never mind. Oh, no, I can see it. <laughs> you had a small uh, scuffle with some, well, some very good rolling uh, clockwork soldiers. So, I mean, you got hit? Well, all of you but one got hit pretty hard. And you decided to take a rest as you're now listening to the ticking talk, uh, clocking madness. I mean, I got hit plenty of times. I just didn't get hurt. I they got pretty close. It's oh, just, I have a stupid AC. Down, and I need to do this. Ooh. Yeah. <gasps> oh. I've always wanted to look pale and yellow on the <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully the camera was picking the up. The lighting. Up, right? It's okay. Wasn't needed. <laughs> it's okay. I control the white balance. <laughs> You've looked like crap over uh, right. all the and time. Jaundice. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those episodes. Oh, well. There we go. What was this first time about jaundice? That's what the song Mellow Yellow is about. <laughs> As you guys are taking a moment to rest for yourselves, taking a short rest. Going to roll whatever hit points or hit dice that you need to do so, and you can whatever you get okay. over this short rest. You are currently in a small chamber room that has five doors and one maintenance shaft, is what you guys were calling it when it first opened, thanks to this in- intricate uh, key hand that you have. Say hello to my little friend! He's very hands on. <laughs> Going in the corner for that, that was terrible. Easy enough. There are still five doors open, and then this maintenance shaft, there are just currently open. As you're listening to the various major movements of this place, as you now are spending a little bit more time, so two, five, ten minutes, feeling the shudders and vibrations of the very facility that are colliding with the various uh, cogs and workings of the actual facility that you don't see 
as you hear the ticking and the movement of springs and pistons and chains moving in the background. Is there anything you would like to do during this short rest as it is special at all or anything else in general? Mm. Uh, yes, I'm. I'm. I would like to do things like, uh, you know what? It's time to crack open the barbecue. <laughs> Look, I'm beat up to crap. Okay, you know how much those things. Really messed me up. And while I'm doing this, you guys can look at that funky drawing on the on the on the floor. You've had a barbecue this whole time. He cooked for us the first night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there was a fire pit, and there was a like. like... No, he like laid stuff out. See, you know what? <laughs> These packs. This, it's it's just not. It's not all me. Look. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm packing. <laughs> Literally packing. There's you help repair it. Yeah, the trunk is on his back. <laughs> the total version of putting socks in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Axe carrying all that stuff on his back. Yeah. He's packing. <laughs> um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not packing, I'm packing. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, I, Food, I, I need to do, is it, are we talking about just spending a 30 minute to an hour, or are we talking about a long rest here, because I'm really hurt. 30 minutes to an hour. 30 minutes I mean, to an what, hour. Quite, do we ha- even have a time limit? We're about well, to find like, out, aren't we? Uh, so, to the DM, is it 30 minutes or an hour for a short rest? One hour. One hour. And uh, depending on those home rules. Home agreed rules. last time that it was a short rest. Yeah. Just throwing that out there. Um, we were just doing a short rest. Because I kind of already did my dice. So. Same. Same. The rest. Same C's. Um. Oh, I think you're welcome. <laughs> Please don't say that. All right, well. He's copying me. Well, then, um, I will literally like to. Will it count as a short rest or a long or short rest if I actually. Uh, attempt to make some some meats and cook and things like that, or is that going to count? I mean, you can't do anything like like a roast or something like that because well, I think it takes longer. Than well, that. crap. <laughs> I you could do like I really a need quick bacon. grill. I can do some bacon. <gasps> you can do some bacon. Oh, get a sharp knife, cut it up real thin. So okay, I pull out my my bacon. my box, the long box, psh, opens up, with, psh, the, the ice frost. Psh, it's a half barrel. Psh, and I pull out the big hawk and go, well, this is going to take way too long to cook, but bacon. Who would use your idea? Bacon. What's bacon? She, yeah, trust me. <gasps> bacon is my idea. <gasps> All right. She can. You, I know you like. I know you like. I can make it crispy. <laughs> you know. I know you like crunchy things. I can make it crispy. Okay. All right. I'll try it. All right. So I sit there and carve off with my axe. <gasps> and I like take a second and I pick up Charles and say. Wait when you're until it's cooked. With your ghost axe, <laughs> essentially, as you take off what's in slice, it quite literally just withers out from the necrotic damage. Oops. Dagger. I put the axe away and go. Here, this <laughs> is for the plant. This is for the plant. This is for the plant. It's already been touched by its essence. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I take it and toss it to the plant. And now it I. Flies out. <laughs> <laughs> it sticks to a wall and slap. Well, that didn't work. All right. Let's she try has this again. standards. It's got to have a heartbeat. Let's try this Badgers. again, shall we? I'm going to then take out my. Uh, it doesn't have to be a badger. Like, it could be a ferret or a rat. Just anything smart. That's the key thing. Like, is my, the pet trainable? Then she'll eat it. My great sword I pull <laughs> out. Okay. And cut. With a great cut more sword? pieces <laughs> off the. Dex check. As you try this, cut. Bacon slices. You have with a great sword that are nice. Now, can you please use? Um, I'm not <laughs> raging at the moment, so I'm not sure I want to rage. To, you know what? I'm fucking raging. We're gonna Duh. take a risk. I'm fucking raging. <laughs> <laughs> Cutting some fucking bacon right First now. <laughs> Cutting some fucking bacon. That's some thick bacon. You're reckless. <laughs> um. Oh no, God, it's a, it's a good thing that I actually did this. Uh, it's still pretty shitty. Um. Dex check, you said? Yeah. Because I get advantage when I'm... Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I don't have to rage. Uh, advantage on dex checks on effects that you can see. <laughs> so this doesn't count. Never mind. Sure. No, it doesn't. Sorry. That's bending the rules. Um, 
You raging, actually, heavy. raging won't give me any bonuses. You Never can mind. Have heavyweight help you. Raging won't give me any bonuses. I rolled a Wait, uh, ten. Of course, a ten. So, so <laughs> get like the octopus to help. Cooking show host. <laughs> <laughs> You bring, you put this. Uh, you uh, cut the bacon <laughs> just <laughs> like that. The... And we've got Hemingway over here, who's like got multiple kitchen knives that he's like sharpening. <laughs> like, 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 he like, walks over and holds up an entire, an entire <laughs> right sword so. in between him. With your perspective, it looks like it just sliced Hemingway in, in twine. But I, as soon as you look o- o- over a tiny bit, it's just in between both tentacles, and the point is just like a half inch from his face. <laughs> So he can help, giving you advantage on your roll. I, that was because with advantage, dude. Oh. <laughs> King of because Irish. I'm all, I got this, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> you caught the beacon. <laughs> Fucking king of average right here. Now, this is a question for the player, because I don't think Eck would realize this yet. Do you have any wood? The, the box crate that I have, but actual wood wood? Wood, wood for burning, for creating a fire. Oh, I got that. You do? I don't have wood, but I can do this and pull out like a Bunsen kit. And go, <laughs> like yeah. that. Okay. <laughs> click, click, like, Easy enough. <laughs> set up a half dozen things that all light the bottom of a pan. There you go. It takes a few moments because the artificers get they can do that. Wait a minute. I've got to light the charcoal. I've got to set up, i got to find an appropriate source of flame. Usually i got to look to him for that. And... Yes. Yeah, sure. What have you seen me ever use fire? Charles, this is going to take a while, and we just open up my bag and start snacking on treats, watching the shit show. Charles, you, you see Charles Carter. Because <laughs> <laughs> I found the lump of necrotic effect. <laughs> so it's trying to eat it? No. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> give, give, insult it, give. <laughs> Into your hand. My dog found a red hot the other night. (laughs) (laughs) There's little red marks marks everywhere, and there's still the red hot sitting there next to him while he's asleep. (laughs) Wait for it. I haven't finished cooking this yet. Okay. Wait for it. (laughs) Wait for it. Look, we have a we have a fucking hour. We have an hour. Like you know what? The cake will be ready. No one ever says that. Then Your meta joke is too meta, and it's not funny. <laughs> um, I tried. I'm very trying. I'm, I'm very take trying. No, I didn't try at all. One of the construct hard. things that's laying around, like the ones that we this, killed. Uh, the uh, corpses of the clockwork soldiers. Right. Yeah. I'm going to shove the meat in amongst it, and then turn it to face, so that way the dog can't get at the necrotic meat. Okay. <laughs> wipe my hand off on it. Dogs. <laughs> While this is going on, I'm going to take a peek through some of the doors. <laughs> oh, enough. fine, be useful. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta wipe my hand on the head. Allow me to further our mission. Unusual, but just slightly like entertaining in its own right. Um, sorry, what? So while he's doing that, I'm going to be like, okay, now stay ten feet behind him, but I want you, and this is in Sylvan, stay ten feet, feet behind him, but I want you to go and look and see if you notice anything. And bark twice if you see anything scary. Because that's pretty advanced for a toddler. Define scary. Yeah. Oh no. I want his definition of scary. Gotcha. He's a he's a puppy. I'm gonna re-roll that. Okay. You're burning his sorcery points up. Fuck you! Yes, I am. (laughs) (laughs) She can burn her entire spell up to sorcery points. She yells at a passing shadow. Fuck you! Of course I am. Yeah. 16. 16. Okay. Uh, there's a moment where he's kind of recovering. He's a little bit uh, tears going down his uh, uh, cheeks from that. And he goes, oh. and goes, <laughs> runs into your leg. <laughs> Sitting next to me, I said. Yeah, he's, back. he's following a couple feet behind you, but he's like looking and listening. The and measurement of feet, he hasn't really. I mean, yeah. Understood yet? <laughs> he's around. Yeah, um, okay. He's not next to you, but he's a little bit back. Okay, so we have the maintenance corridor. Let's go behind door number one. Okay. <laughs> so, for... And he's actively looking, so he should be able to, like... Correct. Yeah. He would have his own perception checks. Yeah. 
And uh, do you have that picture from the text that you sent me? I do. And he has keen hearing and smelling, so he has advantage on checks that rely on hearing or smell. Correct. And he will be rolling with advantage due to that. So, just to repaint the picture of this room. So there's the uh, door that you came out of, which is, we'll say, the top part of it. And then uh, directly on the opposite side is the maintenance corner that you guys opened up. That's what it's not a call, but that's what you're guys calling it. The double doors are directly on the other side of it, which is the biggest door there. On either side of the double door on the corner of this uh, rectangular-ish room are two uh, diagonal uh, uh, doors that go either way. And then right up next to that are these heavily reinforced doors that slid up versus open down. Which one did we come out of? You came out at the top, left one. And then the heavily re reinforced door is right next to it. I'm just going to go around one by one, moving the doors, inspecting them. So let's so start, with, let's start with the reinforced one first. Clockwise? Uh, no, counterclockwise. Ah, rebel. Because I'm trying to <laughs> counter the clock. I, I, I think that so makes sense to me. Counting clock, counter clock. So going Fuck you. counterclockwise, We'll say from here, from where you came out of, you're going to go directly to the maintenance corridor. Mm -hmm. The maintenance corridor is roughly about, uh, judging about 80 feet long. It gets hard when you get uh, further distance. Dark There's dim lighting, just omnipresence. And about every 7 to 10 seconds, you see a massive, like, you described it very uh, 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 adept last time, which is uh, like a pirate ship that goes by. Pendulum. Just make, yeah. It looks like a giant pendulum that goes up, uh, around and back up into the ceiling, but then another one from the other side. And then again, you have basic intelligence that this almost looks like a giant gear, but you're seeing the bottom part of it. Oh, so, so it only swings one direction? Oh, right. it's ticking. It's ticking. Correct. The gear it's is just, just coming through. You didn't uh, put this together last time because it's so impossibly big that you're like, oh, it can't be a gear, and then you realize, they're See, I, I thought there was something swinging back and forth. If it's only going one direction. It's going one direction. Yeah. It's a giant gear. Yeah. And, it, and you notice that the room itself is slightly curved to match the actual part of the actual gear itself. But you do notice that there is a some sort of doorway at the end of it. Hmm. Moving on to the next one. To a heavy Door number two. Yep. <laughs> As the jeep collapses out, this heavy reinforced door that slid upward versus opening out. Roll a general perception check. The room itself is not very big. It's a small rectangular room uh, that is about, I would say, about fifteen feet by ten feet. He got nineteen. Oh. Twenty-one. Well, good, the one who can really, do it. Really? We're the one check. Roll natural 19. Oh, sorry, Ooh. 21. Yeah. 21. Oh, jeez. Okay. You see what could be defined as a supply closet, if you would call it that. But it's, you see steel uh, seating arrangements on either side, along with what looks to be outlines of generally humanoid-based creatures that are set into the wall, along with various hanging free wires and tubing that are not connected to anything. And the only thing that's really in this room are three body-shaped constructs. On the right is a very wide uh, chested individual that's currently sitting down and just eyes straight to the wall all, all the time. Um, that is currently holding a, what looks to be a quarter staff right next to it. That have three cogs uh, rotating around the uh, staff that goes to the top, where a oh, what are those lightning globe things called again? Neon lightning globes. globes. Where they're the uh, neon lightning that is uh, spazzing out. All oh the yes, um, like, a like a plasma, like a plasma ball. Plasma ball. It's a plasma ball. There we go. That sits on top of it with a little bit of arch of light, constantly, perpetually. Oh, or it could be a Marconi sphere. Or not a Marconi sphere, a... Um... The cogs themselves, when they rotate, only one point is touching uh, each individual part of the staff. And it's it. rotating continually in a weird uh, off-circle fashion for each one. 
Huh. Directly in front of you, across from the door where you are, you see a... Tesla coil. Tesla coils, thank you. It's a nanograph generator. Mm-hmm. Remind Google myself. It. Remind <laughs> of myself. <laughs> Literally looking it up. <laughs> uh, it's the one that makes your hair stand on it. Okay, so it's... Oh, okay, okay, I got you. Yeah, so yeah. it's similar in concept because of static. But, ah, um, that's right. I had to remind myself of that one. Uh, extra electrons floating around. So, directly in front of you, you see what looks to be almost like a diving suit kind of uh, uh, entity. Big and bulky, hunched over a little bit with various different tanks up on, upon its back. A big diver's helm with multiple glass tube eyes. The big daddy. Pretty much, essentially. But for its hands, it doesn't, it has two claws. Almost like crane claws that clap, uh, clap on that are currently just hanging downwards. Directly to the left of it. This is door three? This, this is, is door, door two. Door two. Door two. Door two. Supply closet. What the fuck are you doing, dude? I'm just walking. You know, I'm can't you smell I'm cooking bacon here? And uh, right, you're yes. just walking. Start. We're trying to rest. No, if you wake happy. one of those things, then we might have to deal with it, and we can't rest. The doors I, are already open, so I'm just peeking in. All right, all right. Don't step across the threshold. Pay attention to your bacon. Less talking, more frying. Ah. Having way old liquor poke you, hold that salt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Directly to large one. You he see grabs a yeah, not that much. Pepper. <laughs> right, it takes that out of your hand, pepper. <laughs> I have a bag for this. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, the magic you, seasoning bag. Yes. The one that blew my mind. A very thin, glory construct walkwood individual that is very tall and slender. Taller than the rest of them. Like, unnervingly tall. This is the same this supply is the, closet, right? Yeah, this is the okay. same supply closet. And you notice across its entire torso and inner parts of its arms are spiked tooth gears that are not moving right now but are just kind of sitting row by row. Hundreds of them. No, let's not fight that. I don't want to fight that one either. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of want that staff. That's just all you can see. I'm just saying, I would look badass with the staff. But it's got little cogs and gears on it. <laughs> directly opposite to the other room with the other heavy door. That's all I do. With your I don't want to fight anything. When having that argument with Bacon, <laughs> the other heavily reinforced door, you see a line of six and a line of six and an extra one of additional clockwork soldiers. Very similar to this room, sitting down and just facing straight forward with various pipes connected to their back. The oh, so those are like security doors. I like the maintenance tunnel. There's no one in there. So the heavily reinforced ones are like you also security. Notice at the very end of the uh, additional soldier room, you notice that one of them, it says where their head would be, it's very much of like a lamp shaped head with the center of it being a uh, vibrant blue, ocean blue crystal diamond shaped that is currently just placed in its head. Hmm. Next door. Okay. Going to categorize the heavily armored ones. Heavily armored doors that move up are the uh, reinforcements. Pretty much. Like someone hit the alarm. So going to the corner rooms, the uh, corner doorways, make another perception check. There's it, John. Okay. 18. 18? Uh, 19. 19. Would you... Oh, I'm busy ba- baconing. You're, you're busy baconing. I'm busy baconing. Yes. So I'm not... I'm, you see... Can I make a perception on my bacon? <laughs> Sorry. I'm Shut. about to get a freaking... <laughs> I'm going to get a D20 that's metal shoved in my forehead. <laughs> Pretty much yes. I'm really glad that ended with forehead. That wasn't what I thought I was going to say. <laughs> you thought about it. You see a simple hallway that continues straight and then turns uh, sharply to the right. That has a slight degree upward. Any discernible notes on the on the wall? 
Uh, with an 18 perception, with dark vision that you also have with the item, as far as you can tell, nothing uh, apart from weird holes every now and again that dot the hallway. Trapped. Possibly. I'm going to look specifically at where the doors themselves are connected, and I want to look at the door hinges, like the door frame. Make an investigation check. I'm going to pull my goggles and minute scene. Oh, with advantage check. I'm looking very specifically. I'm glad I did that because the first one was a 1. The second one was an 18. We fixed it a 20 modified. DC 20. You do see. I am. Nathan. Mm -hmm. You do see, not along the door frame, but you actually look at the metal plating flooring. And you notice that there's a, a miraculously perfect square cutout on the floor. Yes. Now the seam is very is very slight, and you only see it due to the glasses of an I have seen. But there is definitely undoubtedly some sort of pressure cha uh, pressure uh, square right in front of the doorway. Crap. This is door number three. Door yeah, number this four. is door number well, technically four, but okay, it's uh, uh, counterclockwise. Well, we went clockwise. Okay. This is door number three. Going clockwise. However, the the mirrored ones, the heavily armored ones, are the same thing. Okay, we, we went through the maintenance corridor. We, we he's described heavy door one, heavy door two, and we are now in one of the corner doors. Yes. yes. And then there's the other corner door. I'll just say it right away. It is a mirror image, but instead of going up, it's going down. Okay. For simplicity. So I'm assuming I'm assuming that the this was trapped. This one is. We'll make another investigation trap. I want to use my goggles my scene because I can. I'm glad I did, because that's a 2. That's a 17. 17. Uh, DC is lowered because you're looking at the same place. Mm -hmm. uh, you do see the uh, same pressure trap. It seems to be very yeah. symmetrical in their design. Okay, so uh, as I'm going back and finish these two doors. So these two are the heavily armored doors. They have a lot of people behind them. If we sound an alarm, I'm assuming those two will come out to come and kill us. These two, one goes up, one goes down. They are both trapped. And um, main double door. Main double doors. Make a general perception check before I, just, I begin to describe it. Perception. This one has a launch. That's going to be a modified 20. Modified 20, and your uh, Charles? That's doing good today. Uh, modified 20. Modified 20? Hey. All right, double 20s. Advantage is doing very well for him. Yes. Because it's been like up. 5, 17. <laughs> Three sixteen. <laughs> he is, uh, and you notice Charles kind of pipe up as well, uh, sensing like all an unseen danger. Because you see a little bit of hair on the back of his neck kind of stiffen up, especially when he gets a little closer to the double doors. Behind the double doors, the room immediately expands out. Very big room. For a second. But I'm sticking my head through the door. I'm just kind of looking as far as I can to one side. As you uh, do a pan, a pan around with you. I'm only able to see like 80 degrees, but that's about you it. You see a massive chamber room with a clock all the way in the back, about good two or three hundred feet back, now, along with various different, uh, uh, not rope bridges, but uh, uh, metal, uh, almost like factory bridges going over uh, and up So and like over. catwalks? Catwalks is the word that I was uh, trying to think of. Yes, thank you. Over some sort of reduction in the center of the flooring. That all of it seems to be oriented itself around. But there is pressurized tubes and chambers and uh, massive, uh, what look to be boilers or pressure gauge gauges. Or some of them that have glass panels, big glass panels at the front of them that have these strange, no backlit light as far as you can tell from this distance, but some sort of liquid bubbling from the inside. Mm -hmm. Along with heavy, heavy, heavy and big, like several body size big from your uh, perspective, tubes that seem to, uh, that are pushed into the floor properly, that, uh, that you can walk over just fine, but you see it, that go into this reduced area. And with A20, you see railroad tracks, massive railroad tracks. A train that would be 100 feet tall, along with a tunnel that goes off into the dark that's underneath this clock. Right. <coughs> Over the 
those few moments that you're watching it perpetually moving forward and then moving back. Huh. Does anyone have a watch? <clears throat> a what? I hold up my orb of time. How is time working in here? It doesn't. Slightly crispy up. Yo, over here. Anything cooking? Um, Usually, wisdom. Okay, the, yeah, come like, on. <laughs> like holding it up, light caused by the sun and the moon going back and forth keeps it in a perpetual state of twilight. Oh. This is so excellent. Time has just stopped here. I, it's moving, it's just not moving normal. Because the uh, big clock over there just keeps going up like, what, a few seconds? From 524 to 527. <clears throat> then we'll leave around dusk. I can't remember where we left. It was roughly. It was after sunset. Depending where you are in the world, that's about right. What'd you roll for the cooking? 11. <laughs> King of average. Plus your proficiency. Oh, I don't, a proficiency in what? I don't have. Oh, no, you're, I don't you're have a proficiency in cooking. cooking. No, <laughs> I'm not. I a, have a proficiency in cooking. <laughs> Look, if it's bleeding and it's been put over a fire, it's good enough to eat for me. All right, it's bacon. It is bacon. It's pretty hard to mess up bacon. You, you know, unfortunately, I'm dealing with the fact that it's frozen, and then I've got to. Oh no, actually, it's not frozen. No, frozen. It's, it's just cold. That's true. All right, never mind. See, this is why I suck at cooking. I don't even know what frozen and cold is. Eh, bacon. It's bacon. bacon. I'm still working on the crispy. Next door? Is that the last of it? That was the last of it. Okay. So then there's the door that you came out of that is currently just a thousand of cogs and uh, and gears and all that that is currently moving and twisting and turning. Gotcha. So we have two options. Well, we have four. Op- we have many options, but we technically only really have two options because I don't want to go to the trap corridors and I don't want to go wake up the, the baddies. Well, so, I agree with not waking up the bad things, but typically traps mean there's something worthwhile beyond them. Do we want to go up or do we want to go down? That's the question. Down. Definitely down. Assuming I've got the map right. Correct. Uh, make a... I made all those rolls already. I yeah, made... you already made those rolls. Uh, using the map and your exquisite uh, ability to navigate, you get the uh, suspicion that in order to progress to where you need to go, you need to go off the beaten path uh, because the room that you're in, based off the direction that you're going, none of these doorways go in the direction that you need to go. We need to go down the maintenance corridor. Maintenance it is. You guys even want to? Uh, actually, I'm going to take a very. I'm going to take a moment to look at the. Uh, the the big double door first because mm-hmm. I'm kind of curious about what's in that room first off so I'm going to look around very carefully and make sure that the doorway is not trapped for a threshold make an investigation check that is my new team Drake walks up bacon bacon push box through the door <laughs> <laughs> make a strength check except I totally can't <laughs> tap Strike comes over it's with fine it's fine it's fine on your uh, back side <laughs> don't I will not get my short rest. I don't see anything seven Seven. Looks pretty good. So, with Charles's hackles raised, and he's been focused for a while, mm-hmm. I'm going to call him back and give him a reward treat, and, like, he's off alert now, so that way we don't have any uh, puppies spiraling off down track tunnels. Sounds good. Immediately... <laughs> Can you guys see how big the tracks are? Look off in the distance. You see the tracks? They're, like, as big as me. I see the clock going back and forth. How big is that? That train must be, though, beyond the tracks that are. Me! Like you laying down, or. I'm assuming the wheels are probably like. Hmm. A wheel. Hmm. <clears throat> and we, I think we have two options. We can walk in here and check what's out in here, or we can go down the maintenance corridor, because I'm not going in any other room. I've already identified that those two are trapped, and I've already identified that those are the big baddies that we I'm don't want to fight. So fairly certain you're saying big baddie incorrectly here. Those are baddies. some baddies. Um, There's some baddies. <laughs> ones that I don't want to fight. Um, 
but the the thing with the train and the clock and the so it's freaking out Charles and we have somewhere else that we can go and typically if there's any long corridor that seems to indicate that you going there would take you to a central location but you don't have access to the means of transportation you are setting yourself up to be tortured by the people who own said means of transportation once they catch you that's strangely specific bacon time Crispy's up. <laughs> <laughs> Make it to this. So are we talking about crispy or are we talking about charcoal? I don't I know. I think that's what we're yeah, going to find we're out. Out. <laughs> Shall I roll? Roll again, yeah, yeah, sure. Here we go. Oh, God. <laughs> Make it to this. It's a straight 50-50 shot with him. Is it 10? 10? 12. 19. 19. Oh, oh yeah. I get good food. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... It is up to you on how crispy it is and what kind of bacon it is, along with do you enjoy it's it? It's actually, this is actually a beast bacon. This is not pig bacon. This has actually come from, if I recall, it was one of the legs of a, one of the beasts we slayed some time ago. You're going to have to be more specific. Uh, specifically. Is this bullet bacon? I think it may be uh, bullet bacon. Ah, it's bullet bacon. Bullet bacon. Bullet you got that a while ago. I know. And it's ju- that's why I'm cooking it, because it's just about there. <laughs> just about sour, or just about... Just eat it. Eat. Just shut up and eat it. <laughs> it's bacon. It's not that bad. <laughs> um, I don't eat. So, there's the period where bacon becomes cardboard, and then there's a moment right before that where it's still, like... Greasy cardboard. Basically. But, <laughs> like, it breaks, but it's still got a little bit of bend to it. Like, it doesn't shatter immediately when you... That's the degree of crispy that we're talking about. And she goes, you know, it's almost as good as a cockroach. See? Emphasis on almost. <laughs> Allow me to expand your uh, gastronomic horizons. You that can... may not be the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> as in needing to go to the horizon for the gastro issues? Or, like, it's the stretching that really... Look, is... do you realize how hard it is to say gastronomic when you only have Two teeth. <laughs> Those are teeth. I beg to differ. And as anyone who has an incredibly spoiled dog knows, okay. Charles gets a third of it. Yes. Am I wrong? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, no one went through any strange por- portals, corridors, or anything like that? No, you got your hour rest. I, I'm going to get yes, my hour rest. Yeah. All right, good. i got to use some hit dice here, boys. Well, right. Yes, but actually... Oh, the- boy. i could use a lot of hit dice. This sucks. Because uh, I'm going to use most of them, probably. Same. Does anyone have any healing potions? Don't you guys have a beer thing? Yeah, that was like one healing potion. If I remember correctly, you left it... Uh, I don't have my, my keg with me. Oh, yeah, you don't have your keg with you. Okay. At this rate, I'm going to use them all. Ah, oh, that's better. I had to use all but three, so. You can only use up to half, can't you? Okay, well, Is it up to half? I can only use up to half? No, you can use them all. As as that's what I thought. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck, why not? You can use them all. Mm-hmm. You can only have that one rest. Well, Maybe and then I see. Yeah. And you get, to, you get to add your um, constitution bonus, correct? Correct. Oh, uh, shit. To each one of them. That you use. You can add that. So I you mean, probably used too many at that point. I did. I de- I'm definitely at max. So. Okay. It, it, okay. I would have said so. 18, 20, it, 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 from me. But if you want to take a, a couple of hit dice back. I'll take try. one back. Because okay. I was really rather trash. Okay. So we'll assume that it wasn't that much of an Thank overage. You know, for player honesty. <laughs> Plus, this whole dun- dungeon's supposed yes. to suck for me. So. 50. Yay! One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I used five of my hit dice. Samesies. <laughs> I'm so glad you like my bacon. Wait, that did that come out bad? That, that's not what I meant. I like my cooking. Well, there's about a, um, a partially rotting... Uh, uh, bullet. Uh, how about this? Well, your plant didn't like my bacon. Perhaps the, sh- the plant likes the raw ham hock. I, by the way, I do need. If we're gonna find any fleshy bits in here, I don't think so. No, I don't uh, think we're going to. But we can always try to feed the my plant. my trunk is empty. So I take 
bullet and toss to plant. Because <laughs> that is a yeah. It it was the 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 chest you know, is if about she about can wrestle a construct. I don't feel weird about throwing her ham. Right. <laughs> it's about two and a half, the chest is about two and a half feet long, about a foot deep, and about six eight inches high, and it's flat. So it's like a kind of a you know almost like a a long. Uh, yeah. Not even no, it's not round though. It's it's like a flat case, right? It's like no, flat. it's actually a half barrel. Oh oh, it's a half barrel. Oh, okay, good yeah. good. It it helps with my figure. So um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it's a half barrel. Uh, and it was pretty well full, and every time I open up, it goes. So as soon as the feet lands, like I open up a cold box, splat. The uh, uh, whatever was visible of the plant immediately retracts <laughs> into the uh, that you have. Well, fine, just leave it behind. I really think she needs to have brains. I don't think oh. the meat. Is, I think she eats the psychic energy when she eats the badgers. I don't think she's just eating Oh, so she doesn't like dead things. She likes live things. So she's eaten recently dead things, but I don't think that she can be like a disposal. And while this is going on, Charles is snuck over and then just like, he is pounced on and is devouring the thing that's like three times his size. That's true. While we're discussing Good. It. Good. Charles. The bone's the best part. Um, My, I am or he I is. I have a he question. Is. If it eats the psychic energy, what does it do with the body of the badger? I think that's what made it taller. Um, What's your question? Modified modify 20. Modified 20. I'm up in the midst of your conversation, as you guys are going back and forth with various... I'll get back to that. ...degrees <laughs> of mental consumption. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good word for it. You notice Charles stop eating the meat, mm-hmm. which is sign number one. And starts looking upwards and starts growling. So I got a bad feeling about point this. wherever he's barking. You notice point. amongst that are coming over the walls themselves, because there is no ceiling, as you just look up into Tinker Madness. Uh, coming over the walls and some of them falling from various uh, columns that are moving. Whoa. These four to six bladed uh, balls. Quite literally just copper shiny balls with six legs attached to them. <laughs> Tiny little things. Maybe about this big. You see about seven, eight of them. Possibly fifteen of them. I whistle and open it's my pocket. It's time to leave. And you hear... <sighs> as you notice that a couple of them are over the corpses of the soldiers that you see. Time to go. And you notice chunks of them are just... Like, you know, like half circles just evaporated. Again. Oh, one of those things pairing. is gonna have a real bad time when it goes ah raw meat. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you notice about three of them are coming towards the meat itself. Uh, so whistle and point at pocket for Charles to teleport in. Made a subtle. Here's your Bunsen thingy <laughs> bag. <laughs> By the way, I'd like to meet the man. <laughs> meet the man or get the man to meet. Currently, they are not Shooing moving, everyone down the hallway. everything that is not moving, they are moving towards. Okay, well, this is very much moving. Yes, the, uh, we're moving. we go the, which way? Well, they're just cleaning and repairing, so uh, we, we, have, we need to go. Oh, Let's not I'm glad you, you apparently know these. You you get, you walking. get, you understand that, what, we're walking, or what, we're, we're stopping? What, what the? We're walking. We're walking. We're, walking. we're, we're, we're fleeing in terror. <laughs> that one. We're walking, we're walking, we're stopping. Where are you headed? Down the maintenance tunnel. Down the maintenance tunnel? Down maintenance All right, down the okay. maintenance tunnel it um, is. I'm going to take my time to calculate, as we run through the tunnel, how long we have before we get crushed by the gear. Okay. Make a perception check. Just great. Straight on through the chompers. As you guys begin to move towards the maintenance house, another gear head. <sighs> That's a 12. A 12? Yeah. Eight, yeah. 10 seconds, maybe? We could probably get through there. As you hear we run. As more holes are just eaten away from the corpses behind wow. you. Wow. Now we know why this place is so clean. Moving. Moving on. So, marching order. Who's going first oh, and who's attempting to uh, move? Hey, on? I noticed, uh, uh, as we're running through, 
Uh, uh, we'll, oh, we'll figure this out. Okay, make an athletic shit. Oh, shit. Good luck. <laughs> she has a first one that goes through. <laughs> oh. um, yeah, just, just so, run. So, I noticed so the go. first time you said her about the plant, what's her name as I'm running through? <laughs> Not even timing it, just going... All right, I do have advantage against dex checks on the effects that I can see. You know it's there. Yes. And that's not a raging uh, ability. That's not rage. So, yes, roll with advantage. Fourteen. Fourteen? So, in the midst of about halfway, about 20 feet, as you're talking, you're like... so the thing that distracts him is I respond, remember that girl that died? Yes. <laughs> as you turn around, Her name. Good what 30, girl? 30 feet distance from you as you just see gear. And <laughs> as pots and pans and various parts of your equipment just wait, get wait. scattered. Does, does it hit him? So, so does it hit him? Yeah, it hits him. Okay, wait, wait. So just before it hits him, pull out the force gun and go bang and shoot him. Add four. Unfortunately, okay, make a perception check because it's pretty much taken the entire hallway. So as soon as you're doing that with a reactionary thing, you can maybe see his feet. <laughs> you're going to try and push me away. You're Which is a lot of you, because you're pretty squat. Yep. But it's not exactly... That right. is a natural 20. <laughs> roll, okay. Okay. Then roll... Bang! Without any modifiers, whatever. Because a natural I 20, so never roll the hit. I never want oh, to... Oh, it's just a reaction. Like, or do you want me to roll to hit? You have to roll to hit, yeah. <laughs> I've never wanted to be shot by you before. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that is, uh, that adds up to 28 to hit. Does that hit? That hits. Yes. <laughs> that hits me. <Hey! laughs> so I stop and turn around and go, what so, girl? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Matrix style. Why is this damaging? It's gotta be worse, it's gotta be less than whatever the hell is gonna crush me. Uh, I think it would just move but you. I, I don't think it would kill you. Like it's it's thing. yeah. It's just it's, it's a gear moving through, so it's gonna have a space to open. Oh no, you're doing. You're yeah, yeah. My it, I'm I'm talking special effect for my flash of genius. My flash oh, of genius to shoot you're his ass. Oh, literally just shooting him. I'm like, <laughs> Jesus Christ! No, 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 no. no. <laughs> my flash of genius is to go <laughs> boom. Okay, boom. okay. That does something different. You still take the down. Uh, well, okay. So that is a what did you roll originally? Uh, a fourteen. Fourteen. Add four. Add four. Boom. <laughs> oh. 18. 18, that is exactly what you needed. <laughs> so, with the combination of being struck at the same time and being blasted by a, a streak uh, uh, just out of the... Uh, you don't even know. Maybe this gear has force damage to it. You don't know! As you're sailing through the air and you suddenly are hit in the back with a heavy thud and the more of your stuff don't... <laughs> and you slide to the uh, uh, backside. <laughs> And you're just smoking a little bit from the blast damage and everything that's happened. As the gear continues upward, it goes into the ceiling. The girl... Made it! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, you know, the girl who... I killed her. That girl. You're an animal. You were there! I know. I just needed to say that. I'm an animal, too. I can I'm going uh, to time it and then go through. Okay. Make yeah, a, yeah, sure. uh, either acrobatics or athletics check. Your choice. Um, All right, go now. No, wait. Go, go now. I'm ignoring okay, him. Go, go <laughs> ahead. It's um, and I'm going to, like, how far across is the gear? Uh, the hallway itself. No, the gear. Like, oh, the to gear? get from one side to the other. It's uh, about 60 feet long. But the actual gear head where it goes through that. is pretty much the entire hallway, except for the last maybe ten feet. Oh, so the entire hallway clicks? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, shit. Got it. Okay. It's not just like a tiny little thing. No, it's the whole hallway. Wait a minute. So, so if it was clicking, there's a gear on the other side somewhere that, that will eventually crush you. Wretch yes. in backpack. Oh! Hold down the puppy. Don't like! <laughs> <laughs> You've got time to think about it. <laughs> or run until you can eventually get out of somewhere else. Okay. And then inevitably fall into more gears. Uh, I think this happened in Hellboy. That's a bonus action, so I can yeah. use it that way. Okay. All right. You said acrobatics or athletics? Wait, 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 wait. Let's not be stupid about this. Wait. Okay, I know. Wait. But I just need to know, I need to know how many people wait. I can cast this on. Okay. For those of you in Los Angeles, Does anyone have with the buttons, wait. 
Does anyone have like thunder step? I mean, I personally can remove about thirty feet of this of trouble for myself. But... Nope. I can I can make it easily. I've got forty feet to move. I just got sprint. Yeah, yeah, but it's a matter of timing it through the time it through. The, I can't help him. Okay. So I want to attempt to time this, okay. so that way I'm just running through. But if it looks like I'm a little off, I'm going to face step the rest of the way out. Understood. You're holding it as your reaction. And essentially, uh, yeah. yeah. This is not going to go well for me. I mean, it will go well for him, but it's not going to go well for me. So that is an 18 for the, yeah, for acrobatics. For acrobatics? Yeah. Nimbly, but fast. <laughs> and you get to the other side where uh, you see... Uh, Go! Stop! Wait! No! Yes! No! Yes! Now! Yes! 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 And as you get to the other side, there's a solid, like, three seconds before... You were not helping. Oh, you... I did. Look, you listened. What? You're gonna leave me hanging again? I'm trying to decide whether so, I'm going to have to plant high-five you instead of me. So... High-five you, you, you and then I keep walking. You were me. Uh, what do you have in case you fuck up? <laughs> oh. So, reach in, pull out an itty little flat, little blue, red glowing flask, pop it open, down it. That's my enhanced ability. Oh, okay. Um, advantage, uh, advantage on this roll. I, I just pulled two rods. Dex? Dex, yeah. Okay. Oh, you're oh, you're just gonna stop the goddamn thing? <laughs> <laughs> I do love it. I'm gonna try. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> If I fail, this is, that's my they secondary option. They have a max that they can hold, right? Yeah. You okay. see 30 for both of them. Yeah. But I also you have go the first. Right. You okay, go first. I can make myself invulnerable once you a day. You can do it. Okay, okay. So, uh, <laughs> Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. I got this, I got this, I got this. And go. The strangest version of Wipeout. <laughs> go ahead. Uh... Uh, um, 19. 19? You get to the other side. Yes! Here, skid. Right before you get to the end, you hear. And you're like, ah! And you get to the other side, and you skid uh, to the last second, and it's uh, a little bit of uh, puff of your hair. I don't like my odds. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore Ak, it makes it easier. I don't like my odds. The best I can do. I'm, I've got three alternatives. We could tie a two, rope to you. I have two alternatives. That's not how that. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's not how that works. I, just I fail. Option one. Quick, quick. Oh shit. I fail. Option two. There's a lot in of vulnerability in that. <laughs> you know. <laughs> God. Option you, three. Ooh, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that one. <laughs> I love the, the idea of you coming out the other side. There just be like you imprinted into the side of your ear. <laughs> that might happen. <laughs> oh boy, let's not see that happen. Fuck it. <laughs> Run for it. I dash. I time it and dash. This is part of the dash. This is timing and also the ability to run under pressure. Make an acrobatics or athletics check. Your choice. Yeah, check. It is not a saving throw. Just as he starts to take off, I ask, why the fuck are we here anyway? <laughs> Something about his god and stuff. I don't know. All right. My next question is, Uh-oh. <laughs> what's your what's wager? Your roll? What's your roll? Well, there's a one involved. Oh, no. What? <laughs> there's also an eight, so it makes it a modified. Did you roll a natural one? No, I didn't roll a natural one. It, it makes it a 18. Okay. Dude, well, there you go. Okay. Oh, 18. No, 19, 18, sorry. 18. 19. 19. It rolled an 11. Okay. You succeed. The DC was 18. Get to the other side. Do, 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 do. So, thump, 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 thump. Click. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> See this guy? Sparks, this seven tall, seven foot tall war machine. In the finest uh, heavy plate dwarven armor. The heaviest. The heaviest. Watching this tr- 
freight train run down at full speed down the hallway is a little unnerving. And you've never experienced that before as you just step to the side and it and just goes straight past you. I'm down. I'm, I'm at the base there squatting down. Like, <laughs> I got you. I got you. Crash! Safe! <laughs> and you get to the other side as they get as you hear Wow. So we're not going back that way. Missed it by Why? that much. Wait, where are we hearing that from? It's, they're, they're still evaporating. They're the still evaporating. The ah, okay. Let's look around. Where the hell are we? Looking I don't want to get. Side, a, I don't want to get evaporated. This wall that you. I have a whole into. three feet of clearance. I don't know what your problem is. <laughs> Elf. <laughs> Ish. Enough. The wall that you smashed into, Looney Tunes style, by the way. Um, you notice that the actual wall is very cylindrical. Like looking on the outside of the so it's, it's tubing. Curved, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the walls are connected to it. Right. About five feet up, you notice that there's a spacing. Uh, like looking at the almost like an uh, elevator that hasn't completely uh, gone down all the way, you see a flooring on the inside and you see additional stuff. And you notice that the spacing is about three feet high and about a good six feet wide. Well, I can get in on the width, but I can't make it in on the height. Is there any way? Can you use your strength, perhaps, and pull it down? We're, we're looking at like the top of an elevator, kind of. Essentially, thing. yeah. And this uh, elevator is cylindrical. Okay, I'm going to use an immovable rod to give myself a firm hold so I can pull it. Roll, roll strength check. That'll lower to DC because you're using additional stuff. Me hand. Oh, of course. I didn't think about this. Okay. You just kind of jump on it and use your own weight to it. That'll help. That's actually 500 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> That's better. Ish. It's an 18. 18? You bring it down a solid two feet. And this thing is heavy. As you bring it down, the whole room itself uh, is actually about 10 feet in diameter. Is it still I wanting to push like up? I would walk it... up X back and step onto it. Easy. I won't even... Uh, yeah. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Foot on the face. Yeah, that's why I also don't like high heels. That sounds it, it, once like I pull a it down, problem. <laughs> okay. So uh, you brought it down an additional two feet, so it's five feet. You just have to duck a tiny bit. Yeah. So does it still want to keep going up? Yep, yeah, you get in. I can climb it. So. As soon as you guys uh, uh, get in, it actually lowers a little bit. You see it immediately on the inside. A, uh, a pretty bare room that has a cylinder that goes up maybe a few hundred feet all the way up and you see a uh, pillar at the center of this elevator room so to speak uh, that is lined in copper brass and thick casing of glass and you see a slightly blue tint liquid on the inside I saw something like this before with the, uh, the crystal on the other guy's head Right? Uh, yes, but in liquid form. This one is a light, light blue. That one is like a royal, uh, like ocean blue. Hmm. Does, does it look like there's anything up? Like make a perception check. Seventeen. Uh, Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yeah, it's not. Looking straight up with the pillar that goes several hundred feet up, you notice at the very uh, top of it, you notice that it's slightly off kilter. Like the whole uh, pillar at the center is just at like a half inch off over several hundred feet and there seems to be some sort of additional hole at the top that this pillar would supposedly fit into that is currently just off kilter right now i tell gear boy don't touch that what is that well if it is off and it's the reason why this piston we're standing on hasn't gone the wrong way it's going to finish maybe don't knock that in oh Oh, so a there's a. <clears throat> so have you ever heard of? No. Asking no, him, no, not no, you. No, not explaining it. <laughs> Where what? do I stand to not die? Don't touch that. Can I stand Almost. here? You can stand here. I'm not. I'm, I'm not in there yet. Just no, I'm trying to educate her on the grunting the half shell. So is, is, this <laughs> it's sitting at, it's sitting at a constant 
uh, five feet now with this stem standing. <laughs> I think there's going to be a few there, watchers rewinding this section. Else the us? <laughs> That's the only thing out, right? Like this. I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> I'll yes. tell you when you're older. <laughs> for, oh, no. for those watching, they can rewind. Uh, so, be wait. Kind, be kind. <laughs> that's, that's the only thing we see in this room. At the end of the hallway, it was this area, and then it's up. Make a perception check. There's got to be something. We hang out too much to be in a game together. <laughs> 18. 18, DC of 18, you were one short, so you got one piece of information. You at a different angle at the feet, uh, basically at feet height out of everyone. You look at the angle all the way up top and you notice that there is a similar cutout doorway of the side of this uh, cylindrical tube about halfway up, but is currently in, uh, uh, completely filled in on the other side with another uh, similar elevator uh, uh, cylinder. Oh. Okay, interesting. Okay, so two right, people this. are having brain thought things. Can someone make a decision? We need to <laughs> go. No, out. no, I said the, the ones having thoughts. We, we oh, to, you said someone. I said two are. I have no I know, reason they, to suspect this, but I suspect as this one goes up, that one goes down. Yes, my thoughts is accurate. I'm going to look very carefully, and I'm going to attempt to pull this one down and watch through the doorway. Make another straight check. Using You're your, still on the outside deck, by the way. I will help. I'm in. I'm in. I'm, oh, shit. Should I be in? Are you inside? You where, where are you? I'm pulling it down. He's on the outside. I have oh, I'm still, still on the outside. Head. No, I'm on the outside helping okay. you. Okay. Okay. Helping. Thank you. That actually helps because I was in that one. Woo. Uh, so that'd be a 24. 24. You pull it down a little bit because there was a five foot gap now. You bring it down to six, almost down uh, to chest level. And it does move a little bit. Your hypothesis is correct. And you bring it down to chest level, you hear it as the whole pillar <gasps> realigns, and suddenly the weight gets really fucking heavy! I need you to make both of you make I'm, strength checks. I'm raging. Okay. <laughs> strength check or strength save? As it starts make a strength. Uh, no, this will be a saving throw. Because right now the thing is starting to lift up. I'm raging. <clears throat> no, 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 no. Nat 20. Natural 20. As Ed gets up into position and you get ready. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. <laughs> Any one of your rods. <laughs> You're a solid few inches. I can't move right now. You just, reach down. you just see the heavy armed war, uh, war force essentially just possibly move, holding two hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of pounds. Just hold him in place. Okay, right so now. so reach down, reach into his, reach it down into Sparks, you know, chassis, and pull out one of his move, the last movable rod. Okay. Set it on the ground, of the piston, and hit it. Okay. Action. You release it. It holds it in place. I got I mean, an idea. Uh, hold on. I need. I to... very very slow. Just a moment. I'm trying to be awesome here, and I haven't mailed roll my dice yet. Yeah, you're awesome. Roll. Them. <laughs> you should very slowly release it. It hits the movable rod for a half second. It stops, and then. <laughs> It is past its weight limit. Okay, 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 but two? 24. I mean, uh, 24. <laughs> and then his air. Okay. No, no, we can use this. We can use this to let it go all slowly all the way up. Get in, get in, get in! I take I'm halfway the there. Rod, in. Click. Start uh, the movable rod. Slam the movable rod. The movable rods at this point Shit, I just are used not helping move. because they deactivate as soon as it reaches the weight limit. Oh. And based off, if these whole chambers are solid metal, on based on how big and long these things are. Unfortunately, the weight on limit of- 8,000 pound weight limit each. Yes. Holy um, crap. Yeah. That's a lot of weight. As it begins to slowly move upward. Or DC 30 strength check. Check the move. Going up. As you get, begin going up, not fast, not at this time. As it continues to go up 10, 20, Anyone 30 got feet. distance? Can we see it far up? How old, what's up top? No, no, there's, the there's a gap. We're looking for the gap. I, I know. I don't want to get smooshed. Not that gap. Doorway. As you continue going up and up and up. Wait. I gave the wrong one because that's a 10-minute counter. Oh, wait, hold on. No, I'll just put them all down. There we go. As <laughs> soon as one of them runs out. As soon as the one that's not one minute runs out. There you go. So, 
as the sun is going up and up and up and up, I want everyone to make a perception check real quick as you're looking at the door and getting ready to jump through. Does that include my dog? Including your dog? I don't see a damn thing. Your focus, be lined on that door, now seeing the uh, metal He's going down great. on the other side. As you move I don't want to be turtle soup, 19. Uh, 21 and 19. 22. 22. As you guys are getting ready to be lying, trying to find other avenues to make sure that uh, it guarantees your success, both the dog starts <laughs> and you go as you smell gas. It's a fucking, fucking piston. Fucking A. It's a you said it was a piston. It's a goddamn combustion chamber for a... And you look at the base of the uh, where the pillar is, and you notice that, no light though, but there's a slight oh, gap shit. where it's actually held in place and held up way, so oh that's not God. actually touching the floor. We're inside a fucking so engine. The a- so <laughs> the actual pillar itself has a gap underneath. I'm, I'm, how am I seeing that if we're on top of the piston? Yes, you're on top of the piston. The actual pillar... Seems to be going into the ceiling itself. Is the pillar not a... The pillar is attached to the piston. The pillar is attached to the piston. And there's a gap. And there's a gap on the floor. Between the piston and the... And the floor. So there's the that's piston a, floor. That's the exhaust exit. There's the piston Sorry, floor. Sorry, that's player knowledge. There's the pillar. And the pillar seems to be moving with the actual piston floor. And it's going up. And it's going up with you. And then there's a gap underneath the piston right next to the floor. So it's not actually on the floor itself. So it's a tiny bit off the floor. So it's not attached. Gotcha. Well, it is attached by various uh, means, as you see uh, almost like a great view around it, but it's not actually 100% smooth on the base. Where do we get out of this damn thing? Right? There's a a gap halfway up, right? Yeah, and you're about to get to it. I'm, I'm prepping myself, holding my action and the movable rods to give me something to... Hold, once we get to the the opening, I'm going to stop the piston. Can we get out that way? Can we go out that way? Is that a, we got an no exit? Or just a, oh. And you notice as you guys are getting just at the door, you see the top of it. I face step passing. through. <laughs> You're on the other side. You see a very that exact same another piston run, uh, and you see exactly the same thing. This doesn't get better. So, no, it doesn't because when that goes all the way up, it, so do we. Yes. Are you jumping through? I thought he told me what I was doing. Can't, oh, I we can't right. stay yeah. here. We you don't. see Sparks, as you guys are hesitating and you're about to miss your opportunity, Sparks steps in and uh, tries to stop. I think you're supposed to dive. Uh, you gonna help? Yeah, no, I'm going through. Like, yes. Like, I do not want to become right. turtle paste. Make a dex check. Make a dex check. <laughs> That's uh, better. Uh, yeah. Okay. Advantage on dex checks I can see. <laughs> yes, you can. Thank you for helping me because I rolled a nat one. God. Sorry, I'm carrying Just straight decks. Dives. Straight decks. Okay. Uh, uh, 16. 16? You're making it through? Strength check or strength save? Are you stopping it? I'm stopping it. That's check, mate. Okay. That is going to be a 23. 23. Nat 20 dex check. As you guys begin to stop it, the very metal begins to creak and moan under the weight that it's not supposed to handle right That's now. That's why. As you're putting one foot on each side trying to stop it and equalize it. With a 23 mm-hmm. and a natural 20. Natural 20, which brings it to 25 plus 227. With both of you combined, because oh, the plus, f- plus 5 for, for. With a DC 30, once it starts moving, nearly impossible, both of you combined are able to equalize it and stop it. It is this is dex strange. check. You said this is dex check. You oh, said. you did a, de- a dex check. You yeah. said you you asked you asked us to do a dex check because you were jumping through. Right? If you're jumping through, you're doing a dex check. If you're helping him, was, then it's a straight thing. I was thing. jumping through. And then you jump through. You get to the other side, no problem whatsoever. Your hands buckle. And yeah, I'm going through. Yep. And Fuck you it. fall onto one side, onto the other side. You do take a general. Why didn't anyone else follow me? Uh, six points of <laughs> stress damage as you tried to stop something. Way too big as it continues. I locked up and so I should have bludgeoning, locked up. Yeah. Bludgeoning damage, basically. We're all on the same side going down now. Yes. Cool. Well, we're not going the same direction at least. Yeah, yeah. You sure. Get to the bottom, this gets bad. There's got well, to there's 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 be a way out of here. The same way we got in, it's all very mirrored. We hope. How many of these are there? Is there another hole? Is there another? Let's look As the p- a pillar goes down, looking for holes. 
you see a hole at the base of it. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a pillar in front of it. Shit, another one. No, it's all the way up. Yep, it's all the way up. So right now you see the doorway, but you see a pistol. How, how big is the doorway? Is there enough? Can we st- stand in the doorway? Uh, unfortunately, no. It takes up the entire tube itself. But you do still smell that gas. No, 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 no. Heck doesn't die this way. <laughs> uh, we've got to... We've got to get out of the... I mean, Let's look up. Or like, well, let's see. So the, we haven't gone the all the way right? up yet, have we? What's underneath the pillar? We're about to. There's a gap underneath the pillar. Yeah. So getting down on your hands and knees and looking through the grating that is uh, separating the ground and the pillar itself. So isn't lifting the pillar out of the way of the door the thing that we need to do? There's a pillar above the piston that goes up into the ceiling. I'm never going to understand any of the spatial descriptions. I'm going to stop trying to help. Nope. Just. Sorry. Make an investigation check as you take a look at it. Goggles. Just think of this one. Here we this are. This is the pillar at the Good. center. Like and this. Going up and down like this. Mm. Here we are. Okay, so. And we're standing on top of this part. And 18. it's going up and down. So, how is that blocking the door? If we're There's we're... another round that as you went down, the momentum and weight lifted another one. Okay, the one that's in front of the door. Mm-hmm. Why can we not move that? Because that one is currently up. So how is it in front of the door then? It's all a metal pillar that blocks the door. No, she has a fair point. Make an investigation check. I mean, we can try I'm and take out one of the, try and take okay. one of the center pillars. She was correct. Roll 18. 18? Um, that's a... Get into the center pillar. What's my investigation? Okay, so that's a 19. 19? Yeah. And what was your investigation? 18. I was looking at the center. 18? It looks like a bust and burn. Oh. But in that scale. It's a spark plug, basically. Yeah. Your uh, spatial uh, awareness is very correct. And that I'm confused? (laughs) In fact, that it doesn't make sense. Okay, cool. I'm confused because it doesn't make sense. Because if you went at the bottom... There would also be at the bottom as well, because on where they meet, halfway, so to speak, they would also be uh, kind of like the other one where it's halfway. That's where, when they're going past each other, is where you need to step through. And if you're looking at the doorway, so to speak, you should be looking at the, at the uh, area you should be able to go through. That's what you're supposed to think. And with that investigation check, you notice small little keyholes that are dotting the right side. Keys. Uh, Shove. Oh gosh! Shove your <laughs> Make a thieves uh, tools check, which is your dexterity plus your proficiency. Yep. Plus your yep. We're Three shoving. Points. We're suddenly shoving him into a wall. I'm so stick your that I'm stick your keys in. Not understanding what's going oh, 100%. on. Oh, hundred percent. Twenty three. Twenty three. Failures. Not even thinking that you're just like, oh damn it! <laughs> as you push your fingers in. As Fuck your fingers, he knew yeah. it. <laughs> And the metal plate that you thought it was a piston just falls in. That's a door. Out, 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 out. And you immediately go out. out. The piston remains where it is behind you, and the door remains open. And you notice another set of keys on the other side. We're all, how big is this area we can all smoosh into? On Directly on the other side, it immediately becomes expensive. Good. Like impossibly wide in each direction. Good. To I don't like. I don't stir. like small spaces like cans. And you like notice cans. that the walkway itself is actually building itself from these strange little path lines that are extending out and, and are jetting out to make actual bridge itself. That seems to go on forever forward. On either side, left, right, up, and down, you see massive scale, uh, like climbable chains that are the size of bodies, if not bigger, depending on how far away it is. You see impossible uh, to, to comprehend clockwork uh, uh, gears that are layered upon layered upon layered upon layer that are attached to other uh, 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 mechanical uh, apparatuses that are turning themselves as well, that have additional uh, uh, bobs and do that. So make no sense and honestly are uh, more of a spectacle of wonder and uh, uh, of technical, logical over-engineering uh, of this clockwork device of whatever you're in. 
a lot of it would not make sense in the practicality of apart from just going to steam unless it actually has most likely a purpose yeah I'm not convinced of that mm. I'm wondering if we just activated this thing because it wasn't moving before and now it's moving it's not moving anymore until we close the door and I don't like the gas I mean if there's a, just a spark of any flame that's what it close the door using your last DC, uh, DC check you close it up seals very very smoothly with only about an inch uh, gap for the actual doorway where the key slots are in just a thought hmm. funny enough you do notice that there's a, a, a number of gears a little set backwards that is a massive rotating gear that is most likely where you would be scooped up as you see multiple gears connecting to the same <laughs> gear pass hard pass <laughs> Right then, um, forward? Uh, which way is forward? It's either up or down or sideways for this place. You've got a walkway, right? Um, right now there's just a walkway with one path unless you want to go back. Is this, has it got walls on it? Or we're talking there this is like, no railing. It's just no a railing. It's it a, is just a quite literally. Uh, I want to take a look over the edge. Hundreds if not thousands upon thousands of feet downward of mechanical madness of various different altitudes that you I hit? Am I not hit? There's a lot of room to bounce. Don't Pull do it. Pull out a ball bearing and light it up. Oh, coin of delving. What is that? I have, I have a coin of delving. What is that? It is a magical item that allows me to discern the depth of any hole that I throw it into, I believe. But do you we get can, it back? No, no, it's a common item. But, I, got but, it, I got it from the... Uh, I, think, I think I got it from the... Um, the yeah, elephant. Okay. Coin of delving. Yeah. Um, was it a coin? Was it a... There's a brain on one side and an elephant head on the other. Cup coin that there shed a, a demorph. Uh, supply that he had it's from the various tails. victims that he got. Heads, brains. <laughs> well. Brains are nervous. Do we want to use your, your glow ball? Or? The determined distance of the coin drop based upon the tone. So I'm, if it's greater than five feet, which I guarantee you it is, <laughs> uh, it will issue a melodious ring to ringing tone, ringing sound uh, when it hits the surface. Any creature that can hear the chime can determine the distance the coin has based on the tone. Uh, but that would be how hear. far Let's is try it? my idea first. So let's light up a ball bearing and chuck it it's, off. It's rather interesting. I wonder how long... Make perception check. Do we, yes, do we ever hear it land? Because it's not exactly a quiet 20. place here. A uh, natural 20? No, no, 20 total. Okay, 20. 20. Uh, this place is not quiet in any means of <laughs> the word quiet whatsoever. As it continues to go down, 3, 7, 20 seconds go by, light disappears. Yeah, we're not going to hear that hit. 20 seconds. That's a long way. That's a long Lots way. Lots of room to bounce. Not good. So how wide is this path? The path that you're walking on is about 10 feet wide. I am and dead center like, on all fours. <laughs> as you uh, walk forward, a little bit more of the bridge actually collides itself. As it's just a, a line of what looks to be like steel segments, just steel beams that are hanging loosely until you get closer as they just build themselves as you get closer. This sounds... This looks like it's built like really, really well and can fall at any moment. I'm gonna walk behind Eck in kind of a prepared for something to attack, and he can take that first hit on this rigorous bridge. Easy enough. Kind of so, stance. Eck going full turtle mode. Can I see like a direction that this is heading for? Like anything way the hell down? Like a perception check. We're all, we're all walking because there's nothing else to do. Not. This is definitely bigger 15. on the inside. 15. There's a lot to process here. Uh, certain dimensions of this physical uh, machine don't make sense. As you see, various different colors are, you initially thought it was flat, but when you start moving forward and changing your perspective, it's actually sprawled out like a giant corkscrew. And certain things that 
also enhance the impossibility of like in either impossibly big or impossibly small on certain gears. Like a massive, like almost like 150 foot uh, gear being held together by a single pin size uh, gear head that is currently just rolling incredibly fast compared to the size of the thing. As you guys continue forward, step by step as the bridge builds itself as you continue forward, a few hundred feet few hundred to a thousand feet. A good solid five minutes of walking. Does the bridge disassemble itself behind us? It does. Well, let's be know where we're going back to. How the fuck did you know that? Just just calling it like I see it. You turn yes. around and it's actually... Are you sure your people's thing is worth all this? Why do you think they sent in outsiders? But look at... Think about this, though. If we don't do this, I don't even know where the hell yeah, this your is. mother and all her crazy zealots are going to come and try to take this place over and probably succeed. <laughs> Sorry. What? I'd love to see my mother sending in zealot after zealot into this place. <laughs> I'm lost in the madness. What? Do you don't think she's powerful? Oh, I don't think she wouldn't people. come in herself. She'd send in. She'd just throw bodies I at. I was it. insane. I, I don't think you could. Theoretically, you could do that infinitely, and you'd still want to figure out what the hell this place is. No, I'm not talking inside here. I'm talking if we don't activate this, mm -hmm. and and that the the hinterlands of the uh, um, uh, uh, hearts of hearts kern is going to be taken over. Then Why? having more people doesn't stop her from attacking. And yes, we may be setting them up for better success, potentially, but also, we may die, and this is bonkers. We might That's get some cool things, though. I already have cool things. Not They're cool all things. in danger. No, no, no. Well, right. I was, here. I, I was promised we could keep anything we found in here, and on the other hand, we are, in fact, help while on from one perspective we are helping support the defensibility of a nation there are other people who would view that as arming terrorists it was all good and evil people it's all a point of perspective because even the bad evil person says oh I have a good thing that I'm doing everybody thinks they're good guys. so <laughs> the one thing I hate the most except you you know what I, I hate the most? Anything. You know what I hate the most, Drake? Someone who doesn't take a side. Noted. So, what side are we on? Are we in the side of getting squashed? Are we in the side of... We're making... in the behind you side. Walk faster if you're going to grumble. <laughs> <laughs> He's still on all fours. <laughs> we do have a long, long road to talk about all this shit. Yeah. At that moment, just hear this echoey chamber of about half a mile of moving on this platform, passing mega apparatus to infinitely small apparatus. You see in the distance that first is nothing but more than a shadow. Okay, well, so after that conversation dies down, I'm going to try my question again in Sylvan so that way the person I asked it to can answer and say, So is this worth it? Now remember, you have to answer in Hick. <laughs> <laughs> my dog didn't match you. <laughs> In my opinion, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the dog rolls his eyes. <laughs> what we do here is for the bear of all around us. <laughs> so, you're endangering yourself. You don't know the outcome. You're not entirely sure what the success definition is. And yet, this constitutes the better. Why? Lean over to Eck. They 
don't quite sound the same. <laughs> Never had so many people talking in my backside before. I highly doubt that's true. <laughs> I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? I didn't quite understand. You're endangered. You're not entirely sure what the success condition is. And yet you still think this is for the betterment of people. Why? What makes that risk worth taking for people you do not know? Is this still in Sylvan? Yes. Okay. My kind. The kind that I know. <laughs> like no one else. They're new to you, though. You, you had a long sleep and are just now finding these people again. Why do you identify them enough to risk this much? How come your Sylvan has a different accent? You're right? It's weird. I know. It's a, he's, it, that sounds like Sylvan to me. That sounds totally like it's Sylvan. totally like Sylvan. Hers doesn't sound like Sylvan. I... Just ignoring them entirely. <laughs> I, so, I so want you to do Hick. Come on. No. <laughs> come he on. He sounds like it. Everyone who's like... ever played Sylvan is going to go... <laughs> Yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, 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 because thing. he learned it from a pixie. <laughs> so his, it, it, like, he says it, and I'm like, oh, God, your accent. <laughs> like, it's, pixie messes with people, man. Anyway. Like, you saying that, that's like, Anyone learned Serbian, it from a pixie, you I'm, did. Not him. Shush. Sorry. You're not part of the conversation. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Uh, apparently I'm talking into my no you're talking into my ass sorry you're talking out of it whole conversation not involving you I think you can okay it. for many years I thought I was alone I was built for slavery they were built for slavery I know I can't <laughs> <laughs> Slavery. Let's <laughs> just take us back to season one. I say this with remorse. <laughs> I'm fine with you dropping the accent because they can't handle it. <laughs> no, please. Nope, we need nope, to control ourselves. Nope. Go for it. Keep the accent. It's awesome. Oh, shut up. We'll, we'll shut up. We'll shut up. I'm sorry. I knowingly have brought them this. And in doing so, I feel I'm require to assist them in activating it and furthering our race. Even if that means putting my life on the line, which for a soldier is what he is meant to do. So, it's a combination of you've been alone and you've had this sense of identity that you have now seen instantiated even though they're not a long-term connection. You have long-term connections, gesturing at turtle ass. And <laughs> <laughs> but he is not someone that you identify with because of your, 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 your vision of self. These people, they have a reflection that you've been inspiring to, to that connection point. And then you have the guilt component of you brought trouble to their door, you have to help. And that right there is a very well to do problem. Okay. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. You're all fucking children. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. All the audience is doing the same. <laughs> I was doing so well. Oh my god. That's so fucking brilliant. The Sylvan is hick. That's funny. No, no, it's it is Sylvan. His Sylvan is hick. Like, oh I'm god. the city mouse, and country mouse just came to town. <laughs> that's how this works. Yeah. Oh my god. Because, oh <laughs> like, I can do country if I need to, but, like, that's not what this is. I am literally judging him for his Sylvan. <laughs> Alright, well, 
At least that explains why you're here. And then we're all just love following. So. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sorry. I understand. Oh, God, I hit my mouth open and everything. <laughs> Here's a good question, as I don't understand quite why you two are here. What we just did? That's why I'm here. I'm trying to figure out why. Because there's a lot of... From an outsider perspective, what you did was you met a bunch of people, and then you took on a lot of danger. But you just explained how it's not that. There's a lot of other things going on. And I'm trying to understand those things and how they apply. He wants money. Just why I wasn't hard That was insulting. <laughs> I think, honestly, he knows like money and various. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know that word. <laughs> she said money. <laughs> yeah, other people learn cuss words and you learn money. <laughs> you know money in 32 different languages. There you go. Euro. Okay, so. <laughs> Just all of this hello. Hey, yes. No <laughs> word. <laughs> You're speaking my language. He knows <laughs> relic in 47 different languages. I also know danger traps ahead in just about every language. <laughs> <laughs> He's here because I was with him for many, many, many long months and many long battles. Right, so that connection makes more sense than the one you have to the people that you're now fighting for from a traditional model because you have the experience connection. That tends to be the primary relationship builder among people in this plane. And so I understand him following you, and I understand why you have helped him with his brother things. Brother figure things. Is that whole, Brother from another mother. That whole family concept is a mess with this one. But it's, I've been in a very similar situation in, because my father is, well, not an automaton. But, hmm, we can get into the complexities of that later. Yeah. <laughs> I may not just be here because I may have brought this arc of cards to their doorstep, but it was a good thing nonetheless. I'm also here because I believe that in doing so by helping them to further the race, that I would be placed in a rather favorable position where I can grow and understand more about the Warforged race. So there is a selfish component in that you have something to learn with regard to the identity that you have taken on, and they're available to do that. With the potential of bringing back my father figure as a Warforged at some point, if that avenue should come to fruition. Okay. If I cannot obtain some way to do true resurrection without the uh, required components. Short of a divine intervention, I believe, is the word. We've already had one of those. It doesn't seem likely we'll have another. <laughs> Not likely, I frankly agree. Unfortunately, that is where I am looking for different alternatives to further my own private agenda. Okay. This massive thing in the distance <coughs> initially was just a shadow. I'm going to have to tongue kick all day. <laughs> <laughs> This shadow begins to take a little bit of form, as it is a massive construct by itself. And initially it was like, oh, that's our next, next destination. And then you get a little closer and you realize it's similar to our giant pendulum of a grandfather clock. That is in mid-swing, but stopped in that mid-swing. And you see bits and pieces of the bridge that are currently just blown asunder in mid-flight, in mid-collision and yet frozen like a picture. Whoa. As you get closer and closer and closer, <laughs> it becomes more and more relevant. <laughs> as you choke on your own spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was upwind from my own. <coughs> Sorry. Wibbly wobbly, time and winding. <clears throat> you see individual pieces 
certain segments that are just frozen in time that you see the path before you, but broken, snipped, and torn in certain places, creating a strange hot scotch way in order to get to the other side where you see an additional bridge on the other side, along with various other bits and pieces that are skewed all over the place. Who wants a lift? Click, click. Is that how we're going to do this? I'm just going to walk or fly across it. Monkey bar style. So does the does the bridge as we the, the, the little bridge that's forming in front decreasing behind as we approach, does it stop? It stops actually. There's a segment of bridge that is a good uh, fifty. Uh, no, so I would say twenty feet that is just completely built and did not collapse or uh, rebuild when you approach. That was sort of built permanently. Yes. The whole thing, even though it's not attached to anything underneath, apart from the bridge itself, from these steel pillars that these uh, uh, bars open up to make this bridge walkway for you. Um, there's nothing suspending this, as far as you can tell. It's just frozen in place by whatever means that it has. And a giant pendulum came through and smashed it. Pretty much. And, and the pendulum is still there. Like yeah, we're, we're the pendulum, seeing this the whole mid pendulum collision. is frozen with I would wonder whether or not that is actually still in motion. It's just we are not you just read my mind. So this. pull out a hand crossbow, click click, pitch and pitch a bolt out towards the thing. Just in general vicinity? Yeah, 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 just it bounces out, <laughs> falls about 10, 15 mm. feet, and no, no, that won't work. Yep. What that'll work. That'll it work. is about 15 feet down as it just stopped and made a descent. That's now, good. in multiple pieces because it hits, uh, yeah, it's fine. I got a bad feeling about this. Because we broke. could we could walk into one of those things. I Meaning, we, not that, but we could walk into a point where we stop moving. And we'd never know. And we would never know. Because to us, we could come out of this... Oh, no. We could come out of this thing, and the entire world that we know is gone. We're going to take a break there, everyone. <sighs> bum, bum, bum. <clears throat> As you guys continue uh, venturing forth and figure out your next path and possible uh, endeavors that you might have to deal with, wow. we're going to take a small break here, and we're going to see you on part two. <laughs> so, till next time, keep on rolling. Well, I messed that up. Stay healthy, stay safe, and keep on rolling. Take care, everyone. Bye bye. I'll get back to you next time. Sylvan is hick. <laughs> <laughs> it is not.